Okay, welcome to another Pong 6 Parts video. Today's tip, well that's just it, chain lag. Um, if you're watching my other videos, I've timed this engine twice. I've now put the head on, I've put all the rocker on, I've gapped it all. And pretty much when I was, I was at it, I was pretty much at 108 degrees on this engine. This particular one. Um, fully open. However, you can fine tune. You can. I found a little way of fine tuning it. Uh, to find a little extra. So remember I said about can you get perfection? And I said you possibly could. Well, I'm not going to show you a way you pretty much can. It might work every single time. 60% um, of the time, most of the time, huh? Hey. <laughs> okay, anyway. We've done this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to what we've done before. I'm going to see where we are right now. And then I'm going to show you something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the gauge. That's a choo-choo train going by again. I don't know how many times a day he goes by. I know it's not the same one. Oops. So, we're on the inlet for the number one valve. Like I said, these are already being gapped. So if you're doing it this way, like I said, this is with the head on, everything being done. And I'm going to do, do what I've done before. Sorry, I need to move the camera because the torsion is in the way. I'll go backwards. I'm going to find, what I said before, you're going to find a point where it comes up, stops, and comes back down. Okay? And I said, don't zero it out, don't get sucked into that, it's, you're wasting your time. There's no need to. What I do is I just move the zero around and use that as a reference. Like I said, it can be any number you want. As long as you know where it stops and it comes back and you use it, any number as a reference, that's fine. I just use the zero for the sake of it. But then I know where it was. So let's time this again. So remember, we're going clockwise. So we're going to go clockwise. And I'm going to move it until it hits the zero. Okay. So it's zero do. Now we're going to come around to the degree wheel. Sorry, there's going to be a lot of camera moving in this. Let's see where we are. We are at. You say it's pretty much on 95? I say 95. All right. So I'm going to put a little cross. The reason why I've done this a few times, and every time I do it, I put so many pencil lines on the timing wheel, I get lost. I got lost the last one so much, I got so bad. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's why I'm doing it all again. But it's always good to do it all again because the more times you do it, the more you know how accurate you are. And that's what we do want to find here. So now I've done that, now I'm going to continue on again. So she's going to go all the way up, she's going to find our top point. We are coming down. I swear to God, there's another train going by. All right, let's see where we are this time. You ever hear wonder what that click is because of the stand I'm using? I just have to adjust the height of it. So, what would you say there? I would say 121, 22, 123. Yes, 123. Okay, 123 it is. Okay, so now we're going to find out where we are right now. So we have 95 and 123. That's quite simple. Add 5, add 20, and then add 3. Or you can simply add 23 and 5, which is 28. Half that's 14. Minus 14 from 123 is 109. So we're at 109. Now I know the last time I done was at 108, but like I said, I've already messed around with this. Um, so we're at 109. Now, this is what I want to show you about chain lag. 
Is there any way, let's say you were at 108 or even 107, can we find them few extra degrees somewhere? Yes, you can. Watch this. I'm going to loosen the nuts here. I'm going to loosen these. Just enough that I can see the collar. But I don't need to take them out. But I'm moving freely. There we go. Okay. What I'm going to do is, right, to make it easy, because I don't want to keep going over the same markings, I'm going to move it forward a bit. And you shall stop it at a mark. I don't know how I swear I didn't move the camera. Yeah, it's different. So that's a half a degree. So where I stopped it, 139 and a half. I'm not going, I'm not going to be able to move it there. So let's say 139 and a half, right? I should have gone a little further. Now what I'm going to do is, we know that the gauge, okay, Actually, I'm going to do a little different. Sorry, I don't want to do this. Where's the gauge? When it wants to focus in. Okay. Let's see that we are lucky, looking literally bang on pretty much 90.1. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go the opposite direction until that needle moves. So when you see the slightest bit of movement on this camera, then we're going to stop it. So you tell me when you see it. It looks a little offset on this, so when it shows that it's fully set. Fully lined up. That looks like it moved to me, yeah? Would you agree that it moved? It moved a f oh, so much, so little, but it moved. Now, let's look at the degree wheel. We're uh, 125. 26, 27, let's say because it moved a tiny bit, let's say 128, let's make it a little shorter, just to be generous, let's say it was at 128 when it started to move, because it moved a tiny bit. What do you see? That's chain lag. That's the lag on the chain when you go from one direction to another. Now, why is this important? Well, it's important because if you think about it, theoretically, half of that is a chain lag on either side of the chain when you move it. In this case, it's 139.5 to 128, pretty much 11 degrees. There's 11 degrees in chain lag. So how can we use that? Well, actually, it's very easy. So what we want to do is, um, if you're spot on, when you're actually moving it and you end up somehow spot on 110, well, you, yeah, you don't need to move it. Let's say you're that little bit off, you're a little bit shy, and it can be work either side, and if you overshoot it, uh, you can come back. In this case, I need the degree wheel to go, I need to go that way. So I need the degree wheel to come clockwise to gain an extra degree in this case. So what I'm going to do is, without leaving the nuts loose, you see they're loose, I'm going to actually turn the wheel then. I'm going to turn it. And I don't know if you can see in here. I, I don't think you will be able to. But you can actually see the whole lot moving and yet the cam hasn't moved yet. The cam has still not moved. Because I know, because when I look at my dial gauge, the dial gauge hasn't moved, hasn't flickered. Because I, when I get to here, now I can actually feel it. I can actually start to feel it now. And I've travelled that far before I can feel it. So now, I want to put the strain on it. 
Now it's starting to go, I'm going to stop it, now I'm going to tighten these up. I've now taken the chain lag out, because in the right direction. I don't mind about the chain lag on the opposite side, I don't care about that, because that's going the wrong way. This is the way the chain, this is where, which way it goes. So I'm doing this nice and easy, because it's... What will happen, and I've already, this is why I said I was messing around with doing that, when I tighten it too much, I spun the wheel, which means I put the lag back in the chain. So I end up undoing what i just done. So that's why you have to keep it tense. Make sure this does, basically that um, slack is taken out of the chain. And then I'm going to tighten this nice and slow. I know I'm going to get to the end. Now, I'm trying to remember what the torque setting for this is. I have 14 and I have 26 in my head. I don't know which one it is. I don't even know what my torque range is there for. Let me go back to that anyway. For now, though. Could be more, actually. Could be 30 odd. They're just numbers that are in my head. I'm sure somebody's saying, it's this. Okay. So now I know that the, it's still in there. Because how I know is... I should be able to go the opposite way and I should travel a fair bit before I feel there's a this I can see the chain loosening off there it goes all right so let's go back again now we're going to redo it all over again and see if it's changed chain changed Oof. god that was a terrible one So this hasn't moved, hopefully it hasn't come off. There's the last one that popped off me. So I went back too far. I'm gonna double check it to make sure it stops beyond. Comes back. Alright. So now I'm I know I'm golden. Once I know it goes stops and goes back to the zero. Now I know I can do the test. Actually, I'll go a little bit more. All right, here we go. Sorry, it, it's so close to the camera, I keep hitting it. All right, zoom in. Zero. Let's see where we are in our degree wheel. And you know why I put the X in there because I kept getting confused the last time I done it. Because I didn't move it, so I ended up putting three or four sets of markings in one spot. So now I'd say we're on. Oh, here we go. It looks like a half degree again. What's with the half degrees? Like, seriously. We're on 95. 96, 96 and a half. Yeah, would you agree? 96 and a half. All right. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to zero it out again. I'll show you the dog age when I'm finished. Show you're not cheating. And we're uh, at least, it's, well, this is a half again, it makes it even. 124 and a half. So, here we go. Uh, we're at 95, 96 and a half. So, 96 and a half. And then we are going to. 124 and a half 124 and a half so let's um let's go up a half and then we'll come back a half so let's say 97 so 97 to 125 so 25 plus 3 is 28 half of that is 14 so we'll come on 14 back from 
124 and a half which is easy it, it ends up as 10 and a half half a degree Did you agree in that 96 and a half 124 and a half which is basically 28 14 yeah 110 and a half so we found that distance. We found the gap. Because if you remember the video from beforehand, I was at 108. I was actually at 108. Now, because I'd done this already, when I reset it, I didn't obviously set it in the exact same spot. I'd already gained a bit. So when I, when I actually originally done this, I was at 108. And I was able to get it to literally pinpoint 110. Now I'm half a degree ahead. Half a degree ahead. So that's basically it. That's basically how we can find... Um, that we can find. Oh, I didn't show you this. I'm sorry. Just to prove it. Sorry, I didn't show you. I would zero. I'd zero do. Just to prove that I had zeroed out the second time. Obviously, I want to make sure. That's it. So now I found that extra degree, and now I know I can say that this is fully open at 110 and a half degrees. So. And the reason why you get that is when you put the, the, the sprocket on and you tighten it up, it's always going to go to the middle. There's, there's a chain lag on both sides. We want to correct that. So that's why I said it may end up being perfect the first time you do it. Just the way things line up, like I said. It may be that this sprocket, if it's new, there's a little less play on it. Uh, maybe there's a little less play with the, uh, the bolts. Either way. But if you actually, before you put the chain on, if you actually put the wheel on and actually move it, you'll see how much play is actually in this on its own. And then that's what the chain is pulling up as well. So between the gaps between the lobes on the uh, the chain, like the sprocket, the sprocket and the chain, that's where it's filling in. So now we've taken that away. So now we know we've tightened it on the load this side. So even if it goes the opposite way, it doesn't make a difference. The point is that it's set for clockwise. That's the main thing. And we've gone and done it. And I've pretty done it twice. And now I can say I'm at 110 degrees. Now, I don't know about you, but I'd call that pretty much precision. So, thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, again, hit the, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you like any of the other videos. And any comments, questions, concerns, get in contact with me. And uh, I'll try to help you out as best I can. And I hope this was um, educational in the way of helpful more than anything. For the people that, if you are doing this and this does work, great. If it finds you them extra two degrees that you need, um, because it's all about it's all about getting perfection, and that's what we tr strive to do. So thanks very much, and keep watching.